Right. So you got to identify 666 and who represents 666. And we're going to get inside of that. Um, um, in the Greek, it's... Uh, we're we're going to get so, inside of that. Who represents 666? If you look at um, Esau, Esau has something called Fox News Network or the Fox News mm. Channel. And you realize the F is what? The six, the sixth letter. The O is the 15th letter, which is one plus five equals what? Six. And then you have X, which is the 24th letter, which is two plus four equals six. So this is one instance where Esau is using 666. You have the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The barcodes on everything. Every barcode, no matter if it's cranberry juice to a bag of chips to anything. Now, if it has a barcode on it, the barcode has 666 within it because Esau deals with this number like that. And another thing, you have them uh, so-called masons. Esau, you know, he, you know, he's deep in masonry work. Uh, he also builds obelisk, you know, because this is spiritual Egypt as well. And he builds obelisk and these obelisks is big penises. But he also builds them in certain measurements. He builds them in a measurement of 555 inches. And if you look up 555 inches, e uh, equal what it equals in feet, you will, it will get 666 feet. So he even builds brick, his own brick masons even build in this number of 666. So we, you have to kind of. You have to kind of use the spirit of discernment to look at the nations and real, and see who uses 666 in their works, you know, and that goes back to who? Esau. So now that we know that Esau uses 666 as his, you know, representing as his number, now we can start to go deeper onto what is the mark of the beast and, and stuff, because now we know he's going to push this mark out. He's going to be the one who's going to introduce the market of beasts and you can't buy or sell he's going to be that person that do that so now, when you it. now when, when you look at what he's pushing right now you notice he's pushing what the rfid chip right now so you kind of kind of uh gotta kind of keep up on the news as well you gotta kind of keep up on the times as well so uh this is you know you have to kind of the most has to kind of unlock the knowledge for you to get but uh, you wanted to say something yeah i just wanted to bring out about the uh the movie The Purge, the elites, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers of The Purge are called the New Founding Fathers of America. Now, the N is uh, 1 4, 14. Founding Fathers, that's 6 6. America is the first letter of the alphabet. So you bring that one back to the front, and you got 1 1 4, which is 6, and then Founding Fathers, 6 6. So that's 6 6 6 right there. Mm -hmm. And that's in your movies, you know what I mean? Right. So these so these devils, this is how they work. This is a six 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 is a part of them. Huh. So that's why I told you to have understanding and count that uh, count that man's number. So if you get that, you know, uh, we say you know all oh, praises to the heavenly Father. You know, if you don't, then this is probably not meant for you. But let's go. Let's continue. You know, if, when you continue, that's the that's the six 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 is. Esau's number. Now, how do you say 666 in the Greek? How do you say it in the Greek? That's key Z stigma. Right. So key Z stigma is how you say it in the Greek. That's how you say 666 in the Greek. So we're going to combine a physical mark with just with the word Kai Sice uh key C stigma as well. Give me Galatians 616 real quick. And notice it's 616. <laughs> right, hey, this is fair. <laughs> Galatians six sixteen. Uh, come. So it says, um, and as many as walk of seventeen, slack you. Oh, just start with seventeen. Yeah, uh, you can. You, you start seventeen, slack you. Come from henceforth. Let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body, in my body, the marks of the Lord Yahweh. He said, in his body, the what? The marks. Of our Lord, of the Lord Yahweh. Now we got to figure out if these marks is actual physical marks. And as a matter of fact, what does that word "mark" there mean in Greek? What is it? What is it? Ho oh, oh, stigma. So this, so this word, uh, same word, Kaizai stigma for six 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 is the same mark that Paul has on him, and he says he has the marks that he bared for Yahweh. Well, well, he didn't have the Kaizai. Yeah, he didn't have the 666, but he yeah. bared 
physical marks because he got stoned. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's what he's talking about. The physical marks that he have on him right there. He never, he didn't take the mark of the beast. So don't think it's that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the word right there is stigma for the word, for the marks that he took on his body. Bring that up. Mm. A mark pricked in, pricked in or branded upon the body to ancient oriental usage. Slaves of slaves and soldiers bore the name of or the stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked. In parentheses to say cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. And they were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods. Now, check this out. Everything that was uh, presented to you is physical, physically done to you. And it's everything that draws blood. Everything here is, is physical. It hurt. It hurts you to, to prick you, to draw blood, to stamp, to imprint on you, on the skin. That's physical. There's no way around it to say that it's uh, to say that it's spiritual, you know, and, and you know, and now that people want to say it's spiritual, we can actually get inside of the spiritual marks. As a matter of fact, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get inside of the spiritual marks because we have other marks that we can get into like Kwai Kwai. Leviticus 19.27. Let's go there. Well, that one's still a physical one, though. Yeah, th this is physical. 19.28. Oh, slot, yeah, slot, yeah, this is physical. 19.27, that's physical. 28. But it's 27 to 28. No, nah, Mark is on 28. But that right gets into the marks as well. But you can start at 28. Yeah. Matter of fact, start at 28. 28? Yeah, start at 28. All right, Leviticus 19.28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead... Nor print right. any. Right there. Because Sorry. you know Jake, we like when you know you, you know what he's talking about Jake, and you know this book is for us because soon as somebody dies, Jake like to get R.I.P. Fatima. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Bloody Rah Rah. <laughs> so, so you know what I mean? So you already know that's talking about Jake. Esau don't get R.I.P. Missy, right? He don't get that stuff. You don't see gooks going around with Chinese tats talking about rest in peace. Zulang, you don't see that shit. You only see Jake doing that. So when this Bible is like exclusively for us and talking about us. All right, come on, read. Come. Nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Now that word mark is what? Because you got to realize the Old Testament was written in the Hebrew. The New Testament was written in the Greek. So that's why we're going in the Hebrew and in the Greek. Come. Come. All right. So the the. Word there for mark or marks is quai quai. It says incision, imprintment, tattoo, or mark. So this is something you have to actually get, uh, you know, stabbed into your skin. You know, uh, I've seen people get tattooed before. Like, that, that's a fucking needle that, you know what I'm saying? That go in and out your skin. That jabs your skin yeah. at a certain rate per second. Like the mm -hmm. brother was even bringing up. Even if the mark of the beast wasn't the RFID chip. Like the brother was bringing out last sit down that we was doing. He said, wouldn't it still be against the law right. to even take the RFID chip? This even if it, even yeah. if it wasn't the mark of the beast, it still be against the law to have something imprinted and uh, uh, cut and put up under your skin. That's still against the law. So it's no matter where you slice, dice and cut it. It's against the law. So take it if you want to. And we're gonna get inside of the punishments after we get these uh precepts. These precepts real quick. Huh. Because there's other because there's other marks. Now we about to show you a spiritual mark right now in Ezekiel 9 and 4. We're about to show you a spiritual mark. Huh. Now, now you want to know the, the difference between a physical mark, karagma, stigma, and we just had kwai kwai. Now this is a a spiritual mark. Now you're gonna know the difference, Israel. Right? Huh. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, <clears throat> and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Set a what? A, a mark. mark. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, for the point of the mark, we don't even have to go any further, really. Uh, but uh, to, to the point for the, the word mark in Ezekiel 9 and 4 is thawa. The definition is Desire, mark, mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. So it's actually a, a, a scriptural 
It's a it, that this is the spiritual mark right here, mm -hmm. um, and it comes from it, it, it's 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 related to the Hebrew word thawaha, which is to scrabble limit. So they was limited from killing certain you know the men that that sighed and they cried for the abominations. Right. So you know what I'm saying. This is a spiritual mark. Right. That had a limit. Salaki, you was going. That was it. Uh, they had a limit on who they had to kill. Uh, who who were they killing? Because 